purpose. That, that is it. Find your purpose. Because in doing so, you can change this entire world. All right, Daryl C. Walls, thank you so much for being with us. Thank Great you, having you. Special Hello, and thank you for joining us. Is the education system failing? According to national test scores, it's not getting a very good mark, which is why the president signed into the law the No Child Left Behind Act in 2001. With the act, school districts and states have been put on notice. Improve your primary and secondary schools' test performances or you will be held accountable. According to the law, all students must be proficient by the 2013 school year. But the act is getting a failing grade from critics. Now many schools are simply teaching to the test, removing classes like art and health. Teachers across the country have been demoted, being told they are not qualified enough. And in Camden, New Jersey, a school official says he was pressured to rig state test scores. So today we're looking at what's going on with the education system, and we'll see how some non-traditional approaches are helping students make the grade. We'll travel to Creative Arts High School in Camden, New Jersey. The school has a 100% graduation rate and college attendance rate. And we'll see how implementing African American history into the curriculum translates into better student performance. But first, joining me to discuss why so many school systems are missing the mark is leadership consultant Daryl C. Walls. Over the past six years, schools have hired him to help students and teachers get on the right track through his program, Access to Success. He says that the No Child Left Behind Act is a start, but the problem with many of today's school systems has many, many layers. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Jen. When school systems hire you to come into their schools, what do you primarily see? Is there a thread that is, is continuing throughout many of the systems that you go? What are the teachers like? What are the students like? I, I think there are two, two main components. Uh, one first is self-esteem. And there's a lack of self-esteem with the, with the students. And so they're, they're not comfortable with themselves, uh, how they interact with the other students, uh, how, how they see themselves. And that is, that's generated from home, it's generated from the environment that they're trying to thrive in at the school. Another component would be cultural differences, cultural piece that as a result of a disconnect between the teacher and the student uh, due to cultural differences, there's a, there's a connection that's lost. And, and, and from that you, you get, you get a, 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 a separation that can sometimes be irreparable. I know that you take credit for going into Red Bank Middle School, for example, and making sure that students get what they need in order to do better on test scores. And you've made that happen in Red Bank Middle School. What exactly do you do when you go into a school system to make students do better, to make teachers do better? Well, what, one, first of all, uh, the program is called Access to Success. And Access to Success, we, we go and we define those two terms, access and success, and we bring them together. And, and access is, is the ability or right to approach enter into, exit from, communicate with, or make use of. Success is uh, the achievement of something desired, planned, or attempted. And so you're making use of something uh, or communicating with something that has, uh, that's the achievement of something planned or desired. Our, our, our students, these, these kids don't believe that they have a right to approach success. They, they, they are defining success in, in their own ways based on uh, media, uh, that the bling bling, this is success on what's on the street corner, that this guy makes $1,500 a week and all he has to do is tell somebody when the cops are coming. This is, this is what success is to them. And so we go in and we, we talk to them about what access to success is about and what success really should mean to them. All right, well now look at...